In today's video, I will be teaching you how to trade binary options just like you're trading Forex. Now, if you don't know already, binary trading options is a binary, meaning two options that you can place either a put or a call option. A put meaning that you're making the market go down, making a trade for the market to go down, and a call is making a trade for the market to go up, guys. And with binary trading options, you could trade in a time frame from anywhere from five seconds to even an hour and on the other hand forex you can pretty much control when you want to get out of your trades guys you can set stop losses with forex meaning that you if you want to place a trade for that trade to go up meaning that you can have a stop loss just in case that stock goes down and then goes back up you won't be losing money for it going down in any time frame period you can just wait for it to go down and then rise back up above your stop loss and in your green section and now you've made you know even profited a thousand dollars off of a two hundred dollar trade also with binary options there is only a payout of 92 percent for specific brokers as pocket option and in today's method i I will show you how to forex trade on pocket option using binary options guys and if you stick around to the end of this video i will show you some indicators that will help you with your trading guys and i will even show you more strategies and how to read these candlesticks and how to chart like a professional so you can get the best entries and win the most money if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is black investors group where we do make money the easy way and while you're at it guys don't forget to check out the patreon don't forget to check out the patreon where we do have a lot of online lessons on how to make this money the easy way we have courses such as how to boost your credit how to make passive income how to start an online business and we do have a lot of content on the trucking business over in the patreon guys and also i do accept coaching calls i know a lot of you want to reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one conversation i do offer those services in the calendly backslash king Lada link in the description where you can schedule a 10 to 30 minute phone call with me for as little as 10 dollars guys talk to me you can get a whole course set up i even have a section on there where you can pay a little extra to get a course set up and i will send you all the information that you need all the tips and tricks for whatever niche you're in credit trucking business trading guys anything that you're in i'll send it to you and guys i do have courses in the link in the description check it out back to the video Woo! so with all that being said let's go ahead and hop straight into this video we're gonna hop on the laptop and i'm gonna show you how to trade on pocket option but first we're going to open up trading view so that our beginner traders can see what is the importance of trading view so let's get into it Woo! so guys before we hop into this video don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i am giving you all of this free sauce teaching you the professional way on how to trade you know the easy way binary options just like 4x but you know we have a greater chance of a win rate so all i ask you in return is hit that like button but without further ado let's get into this desktop and i'm going to show you the strategy some indicators that you can use on trading view that will help you out with your entries on pocket options so let's get we're over here on trading view guys and as you can see i have a couple of indicators put up and you can see a lot of mumble jumble right here but we're not going to worry about that right now as you can see guys this is intel corporation on the nasdaq and this is trading view right here this is the overview of it you have all these tools over here on the left hand side guys the trend line arrows guys rays just about everything you need to get some accurate you know tools to see what these candlesticks are doing this is the fibonacci retracement tool right here guys and then over here we have things such as the triangle the rectangle the circle which is what i use right here to see these zones and i'm going to go over the importance of this later pretty soon but what you want to make sure that you're looking at on this trading view website is the time frames up here guys so i have it on the one minute time frame maybe you might want to look at it on the five minute time frame and such things like that because when you are charting you want to make sure that you are charting at the highest time frame scalping down guys so when you're looking for these graphs when you're looking for these charts let's take it to pocket option when you're looking for these charts guys you want to make sure that you're time frame is on five minutes say you're trying to make a one minute trade you want to make sure that that time frame is on five minutes and as you can see on intel we're clearly going down on the five minute time frame 
and just to give us some clarifications to see what it's gonna do in like the next minute to three minutes we're gonna go to the three minute time frame we're still on a downtrend but it is a green candle trying to open up we have a lot of support and resistance on this previous candle right here we have a short body with long wicks guys and a long wick in the upward direction meaning that it was trying to go up but it resisted all the way back down and now we're going down again and then as you can see we take it to the one minute time frame and this candle is just strictly going down on a downturn and we also see a m formation right here guys so we see this m formation and two things can happen with this m formation all right so it can either go all the way down or it can either shoot all the way up so for today's video i will show you guys a one minute trading strategy that wins you know 80 percent of the time and I will show you this one minute trading strategy. And right now I'm seeing a perfect entry right here for it to go down. So we're gonna place $20 to go down for one minute time frames, guys. You wanna make sure that your time is on one minute or three minutes or five seconds, whatever you're doing. You want it, you don't want it to be on this 1539. You don't want it to expire at a specific time. You want it to expire after a specific amount of seconds, guys so that's just a quick note to take as you can see we started off the demo account with 50 dollars and we just trace a trade for 20 dollars for one minute's time we have 30 seconds left and it's looking kind of shaky but you know we're just going to see where it goes like i said most of the time once you see these m formations guys or either a w a w means it's more likely going to shoot up and an m means it's more likely going to shoot down but it could go either way so this thing could turn all the way back up and shoot all the way back up and that's just looks like what it might do but actually we just might go down we got three seconds left and we have placed a draw but you know if you can see and it's staying there look at that it's staying there but you know three seconds later guys we would have won that trade but we didn't lose any money with that so i'm not mad because i didn't win because i just know that was a risk because the w i mean the m formation is just starting to form right here so you know you, i just took my chances on that because the information is starting to form and as you can see if i just would have waited five seconds we would have definitely won this trade but back to trading view guys you know what i mean so you can zoom out on this trading view way more than you can zoom out with pocket option that's what i love about trading view and you can get way more accurate entries because with trading the past is gonna repeat itself so as you can see we're zooming out of trading view right here we're zooming out and the past is gonna repeat itself so we have a big downtrend right now and now we're supporting and resisting and just look if we go to the past it's on a constant uptrend guys this is on a constant uptrend you know it's slow but we came big down right here as well and this was thursday january um 15th i mean june 15th my bad guys uh june 15th and we came down and then boom support and resistance we're on our way back up we came down and then we just shot back up no support and resistance not that much right here not that much support and resistance within just 20 minutes this graph started to shoot back up guys so we came back up and now we got a big down support and resistance a lot but more than likely guys it's gonna come back up because of the history we are on a longer uptrend even though right now we're on a short downtrend but another way that like i said guys look at these patterns we have a m right here i outlined it with these trend lines and we have another m pattern an m formation it might not be the best m but it is a m so we go up right here down up down and now we're on a big down mode right here and this is today's trades for this intel right here guys and as you can see i placed my zones because you don't want to always you know grab your trend line tool and try to place zones with a trend line guys you could do that but as you can see the zones work out way better because now you can see what these candles are doing and where it might touch next so 
as you can see right here we have a zone for the lower and a zone for the higher of where these candles are touching and right now we're breaking out of that zone on a downtrend and as you can see on pocket option we are going on that downtrend we could even take it to the five minute on pocket option and we are on a major downtrend but as you can see on the five minute pocket option it looks like we're just steady support and resisting we came up a little bit but we're on a downtrend on the five minute so we're gonna go back to the one minute and we are still we're trying to come back up we might come back up but if you look on if you look on trading view guys you can see that we have two green candles here on the up direction so we're looking to make our way back up and the way you can trade these binary options just like you're trading forex guys is pretty simple so you know what i mean you just want to look at these zones i got in the circles a w formation we have that w formation we shot up okay and then we shot back down so after we shoot up and you see a couple of candlesticks after you see four candlesticks coming back down after that w has shot up so right up in here guys you want to expect this chart to come all the way down just like it is here okay and then right here we have another small w right here guys this w right here and then boom we shot all the way down support and resistance w shot all the way down a little bit of support and resistance so i want to expect another w guys and as you can see this just might be a w forming right here we have a big green candle right here so this just may drop it might just give it the same amount of resistance then we're going to get that line coming down right here let me draw it out for you so you can see it clear but so we're going to come down right here guys boom we got another trend line and right now we're coming up and now you see that red candle forming right there as i just put that line there like i just said it would we got a red candle forming and more than likely it's gonna be the same exact size as that previous green candle and we're, we're predicting for this chart to hit you know right here hit this line right here guys so what you would do once you have your information on trading view you see your w's you see your m's you see what the long term trend is even on one minute candles the thing about pocket option is that you can't see a long term trend on a one minute candle guys you can only go back let's see 1420 excuse me to 1540 so you can only go back about an hour and 20 minutes guys so as you can see this m is still forming we have a green candle but that's nothing compared to you know what's about to happen with some more red candles and what you guys would want to do is you just want to have these indicators right here so we have a moving average of 4 sma and that is my red line right here so you can see guys this red line that is my moving average of 4 sma and then we do have a moving average of 9 ema and that is my green line i just have it at one pixel the pixels don't really matter it's just how thick you want your lines to be but pretty much these two moving averages once they cross guys once these moving averages cross that means that the stochastic or the candles your osma guys all of that stuff is going to go ahead in one direction so as you can see right here the green and red line have crossed right here so we continue to go up and then boom as you can see right here guys the green and red line have crossed going down and we continue to go down so that is a good indicator to use um, once those green and red lines cross or whatever colors you want to use once they cross it's more likely 90 percent gonna go in that same direction unless you know it's the first candle while it crosses and it decides not to cross anymore so guys always give it three candles you know especially on this minute or 30 second time frame always give it three candles before you place a trade you want to make sure that that trade is going in the direction it says it's going and as you can see we're kind of spiking up right here but we're not going to worry about that because we might just get a big bullish candle to fight that but also guys we have a zigzag and the zigzag is on default guys and this is just my yellow line saying what the trend is doing what the overall trend is doing for this moment so as you can see we have those m's nice and formed up it's just the easier way to see those m's and those w's and what these trends are doing 
and then we have a Keltner channel now the Keltner channel is also on default and it's all blue because this is this blue graph you see right here and on this Keltner channel you see three lines so you will see the top line the middle line and the bottom line so these are the zones guys so once these candles break out of this zone if it gets way up here it's gonna try to make its way back to these lines right here guys it's gonna make its way back to that zone and vice versa if it goes out of the zone all the way down here so as you can see right here we're out of the zone but it's trying to make its way back and as you can see we have a long wick it did break into that zone and now we're supporting and resisting around this zone so what could happen is we could keep going down or we could try to hit this middle line right here so as you can see on the top end we broke out of the zone just a tad bit and then boom we tried to hit that middle line and then we came below the middle line and now we're outside on the downside of this Keltner channel and so now we have a fractal a fractal of two guys and pretty much what these fractals is is it's the arrows that you see right here that's going up and down so when these fractals open up this is good for this one minute strategy or even three minute strategy that I'm gonna show you towards the end of this video if you keep watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe but when these candles not candles when these fractals open up guys so as you can see this one's flickering because it's not sure yet you know what I'm saying it's not sure what it wants to do we're going up but you know it could go down and then boom we can still continue with this downtrend so what these fractals are indicating is that you know it's going the opposite direction as you can see right here the fractal just stayed solid because we pushed up in the green direction even more so now it's more confident that this is going to go back up and what you would do guys is you would you know place a trade for you know a minute three minutes for it to go in the up direction or for it to go in the down direction based off of what that fractal just opened up and what you want to see is you want to see three of these parabolic saws you want to see three or four of them guys and with this parabolic saw it's just the count of candles after the fractal so after this down fractal right here indicating that we're going back up you want to see three dots so you want to see three purple dots and as you can see right now we only see one dot and I placed the trade to go up you know and I just placed that trade to prove that the fractal works sometimes but like I said you want to have three parabolic saws to back up that fractal guys so you want to have three candles going in that up direction before you place a trade to go up and as you can see you know I'm probably about to lose this trade in two seconds if we don't see another draw guys another draw so this is when you just want to practice on your time frames if you want to trade one minute two minute or three minutes as you can see I just placed two trades throughout this video and I didn't lose none but we did draw guys so we didn't lose any money yet for the day we didn't make any money yet for the day but as a trader we still have money to trade with and to profit with guys but as you can see the strategies work you want to also have an Osma right here guys and I do have a stochastic all on the default settings and it just shows you the trend so once you see the stochastic going up the trend is going to go up guys you can place a five second trade you know what I mean you can place a five second trade for that graph to go up or if it's just all the way up out of the sky like if we're up here where you see my mouse set or if we're up here you know you want to make a trade going down once we're at the peak of that mountain guys and as you can see the mountain is trying to build and as soon as it hits that peak you want to place a trade to go down on the five seconds if you want to trade with five seconds but these are just other indicators that will help you out you know to follow the trend guys because the trend is always gonna win not always but it mostly wins and this trend is very important to follow and this is pretty much how you trade binary options just like forex guys it's very easy all you would have to do is just play with the times guys if you want a more secure trade you could trade an hour and just in an hour you can see your money growing for you because you could go right here to trading view you see that we're on a big dip right here but like I said history if you go to your history we big dip and then we we inch our way back up we big dip and we inch our way back up so now we have a huge dip 
and we're supporting and resisting and we're going down a little bit more but you know in four hours eight hours of course this graph is going to go back up and if you just want like if you want to feel 100 percent confident then go ahead and place you know an eight hour go ahead and place a, a four hour trade guys and you know get that trade in there and make money in four hours 100 percent. you know what i mean you could you know bet you could trade two thousand dollars if you wanted to they won't even let me put two thousand for the amount because i only have fifty two dollars in here but you know what i mean you get the gist and if you want to know a quick, quick five, five second strategy i would show you but i have a video on it boom right here and uh yeah go ahead and check that out guys but that is almost it for this video another thing i want to mention before we hop out the video and this is mainly for beginner traders is don't trade with your emotions guys you want to manage your emotions because emotions can cost you a lot of money and it will kill you in the long run what i mean by this is that say you are trading guys and you've placed three trades and you want three trades back to back now you're hyped up now you're ready to go now you think you can make more money but then you lose your next trade right and so now you're like dang you just so let's say you profited three hundred dollars with those three trades you're you, you're trading a hundred dollars at a time so now you go in to make 400 but boom you lose it now you're looking at two hundred dollars in your account and now you're like dang i'm trying to make four hundred dollars but i see two hundred dollars let me go again now boom you try to go again you lose that because what you're doing is you're not trading with strategy you're not using your indicators you're not taking your time you're not being patient please be patient especially if you are trading on a shorter time frame don't double trade guys because anything i mean anything can happen in the last five seconds the last one second the last millisecond of your trade entry anything can happen it can always jump so don't double trade because let's say you double trade for it to go up you second guess yourself and then you think it's gonna go down but you know the chart is gonna do what it's gonna do guys it could go down and then up so that you will lose both of your trades and lose double your money so i would suggest you know just lose just use one of your trades per trade guys because you don't want that grab to go down boom you just lost that one and then boom you placed another down trade because you thought your up trade was gonna win and you lost that one because the graph literally said this so just be careful when you are trading don't let your emotions get to you take your time take deep breaths and always use your strategy and rules and every movement you use man but this is how to trade binary like forex Trade up to four hours, guys, and scout on TradingView to get the most accurate entries. Don't forget to start with the higher time frames as you're looking for these charts to trade on and go down to the one minute time frame. And for the sniper entries, you want to be on that 30 second, even 15 second, even 10 second chart time frame to get the most accurate entry, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button this is black investors group we do post daily so i will see you tomorrow my name is king lotta if you have any questions man go ahead and schedule a calendly coaching call and the link in the description and if you want to read any ebooks that you need for any niche that you need it's all over there in a lot of ebook link in the description and we have more useful links as well to help you make the money the easiest way possible so let's get it Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll see you later. Woo! You're talking money, want all of it, please. I